moving along, you think I go crazy. I am going crazy. Sometimes. If nobody comes up, I got no phone. They won't repair it. That's the end of the phone company. But I got a lawyer. China knows they got to get a hole 
trade partners with these countries. Getting into uh, communist capitalist duologies is just ridiculous. They're trade partners. And Canada's going to shut down trade. I got a trade with China. I'm going to take a course on Chinese trade. It's on my camp. Oh, no. You didn't. under Tommy uh, Robin uh, Roberts. He was under all these great life coach influencers. He read The Secret, Bob Proctor, and he built businesses of it. Um, Shane Moranis. And he formulated uh, uh, this the currency called it's a crypto that buys gold and silver. It's worth trying. And then they store it in vaults. And Australia's getting into it. Shane told me about it. Shane went to college after me. Shane got into um, printing. But then um, printing services went out. I'm using printing services. There's one here. I'm going to start printing up some files and mail things out. I got a, just got a good business plan. There. I write it down. And I, I've been using Simple software, simple programs like Notion, Evernote, Microsoft, OneNote. All those work. And website, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at um, a few. Now they say on here, uh, maybe uh, a combination because I'm selling products. I don't want to use social media. Yeah, I get scammed on those go looking things up. It's just going back to Reddit. And, uh, I use Chatbox. GPS. That working for me. Chatbox. It started working as the young guy suggested. Yeah, I had a lot of trepidation about uh, artificial intelligence. It's the future. We can communicate chat block. And it's very positive talks. I can ask it questions and I get answers and I write it down and I keep copies of it. And it's getting me somewhere. And there's always positive questions I ask. And I get positive answers. So chat. GTS is a good method of figuring things out. I couldn't figure out a business name because I lost a business license. And, um, you know, it was, it was all right. But it, this one, I've advanced my knowledge. I've been living here for four or five years.
here's no help. The phone keeps breaking down. I owe money on the phone. Get this lawsuit proof. I'm going to get a, a phone that connects to the Wi-Fi. And that's what I'm doing. And just a home phone. Keep the Wi-Fi going. And I'll, I'll get ready to leave. I'm putting my citizenship proof for Australia. It's a lot easier. I looked at the pathways and it's so easy because my mother was Australian. I got the forms. I just get them to show documents that she was an Australian citizen at my birth. I tried England. It's, it's harder. And I had a psychic say, go to Australia, Craig. Get to Australia. Now, she told me, stay out until 2024. She's not straight. I think things are getting better there. I think she's right. So this is almost 2024. I'm going to leave Collingwood, Ontario. So I'm going to put stuff in cases. Have it shipped. And I'm going to have it shipped by, um, overseas. And it's not a lot of stuff. And I think I'll get my guitar repaired in Alberta. War back here in the ship. That uh, is a good repair shop. 12th fret. They can fix it. And I'm putting a new neck on the telecaster. New pickups. I've got plans. I love playing music. I want to get a better piano. But that one's working. It's a rolling book piano. It'll, it'll get me by. But what I'm buying into will make me money. I can make 100000 a year with just the terrible of mixing this stuff up. I got a room of therapy license, um, diploma. Aroma therapy, cleaning supplies, that making things, and making them affordable, and teaching them, that's good. I'm a teacher and an educator. I've always been an educator. I got saddles to sell. And I get all this garbage from other countries to sell. They're inferior. No, they're good saddles. They're from Turkey, the leather. And they're India and Pakistan. It's good quality and they'll make it to my specifications. Veterinary parts for horses. Everything. I'm going to do international trade, uh, life coaching, everything online. Well, I'm traveling. I'm lonely and not working. And distance healing. I'm teaching. I was doing this for nothing. And I had a kid come up. I was wandering around. I didn't know what to do. He's in trouble. He paid me $100 for life coaching. I didn't have insurance. So I can sell them in packages. I teach EM, uh, EFT, all this stuff. This is going to help people. My life has changed by opening my mind, reading Napoleon Hill. How many things can I do? Well, I've, I've learned some things. Do not do over two hours of lessons a day. And an hour to two hours, chunk information. Piano, same. Don't spend too much on it. Chunk it. And learn music theory and just keep learning. I have my finger style acoustic player. I'm just putting strings on the tally and I have to develop a style. Stylization of, of um, it seems like it sounds like a lot of light and hawk and stuff. But I've always been an acoustic uh, and a fingerstop player. I love the Madden guitars, the electrics. They're so nice. And that's what I'm going to get into. I love playing clubs and stuff. I have a good life in Australia. Because I always have money flowing in. I will not live a good life not working and not doing things I love going. I do 
energy healing, I feel good. And the energy goes through, and that's clearing me and helping other people. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to life coach and see people get ahead. So these are my theories about life. Help others get ahead. If I go across uh, Canada, the people on the way at me, receive help. And I might write a book as I'm traveling. I'm getting very creative. And I just see this, this little laptop, it's doing the job, it's not expensive. It's not expensive. So I could like a Mac, but right now, it's certainly. You know, Mac has cost a lot of money. But this works, and it's a Google Chromebook. Got all the programs I need. I set the music programs like Apple has. But I can't take a lot to take Australia because there's limits. It's, it's good. I have this stuff packed up. It's photos and not much to take. I put it in a box and the way it goes. Now I have him. I got a young guy here. He'll fix it. So. I'm not living well. And uh, the Bell Canada, they won't replace the phone. I'm paying for it, and I'm, I got to pay him up. I got can't see what's on the bill. But I started looking at the options. I was in Australia, and I was very happy there. My cut uncle was an entrepreneur, a soul trader. And that's the way you make money. Work for you. Napoleon Hill always said that. But oh no, more jobs, more jobs, more jobs. That's all this town and country's lived on. On entrepreneurship. And I got told by a, a progressive conservative of this writing. It really made me question this. His logic was I, I, own, I don't ride taxpayers up on entrepreneurs. I need a little startup fund. Well, there's startup funds and they're in credit unions and stuff. And they're in, uh, I think there's another company. We put money in as entrepreneurs. So you have seed money for your startup. There's a, you pay it back. No, no interest rate. And that's our, our, our method. It's a fiat currency. I, I've seen this. So I support entrepreneurs, young people getting ahead. The whole system's screwed. We're relying on box stores. We're relying on everything. Canada's a very big country. We don't need to live in cities. They tell you you do. It's Agenda 20. It's an agenda keep the markets up high on uh, real estate. It's not working. Uh, low density living and downsizing and living a good life and using social media and using communication with Wi-Fi and cell air and cutting down the prices. But Canada's prices are way too high. But I think I can make it. I, I, I got some friends out in Alberta. do this business. I'm going to start working with Deterra Canada and I'm going to sell and I'm going to look after my health. I can't look after my health. There's no money. All they do is give you pills here. And it's just not working for me. Ontario is terrible for things. People are dying in hospitals. And all this story about age. I don't know how long I've been on earth. As long as I'm happy. Making money. And helping other people. Is my life. I like helping the horse business. That's a niche. And the music business. That's the two things I was in. And I know Australia's getting better music. And, uh. You know, 
around. The things I love to do. I like to have a drone and do photography and make movies and beautiful scenery of Australia. Drones, beautiful. And uh, making music good. So I want to study music. I can do that online. It's the best harmonica player in Canada. In the world. He just lives over there. I can hire him for online Skype call. And he can teach me very good harmonica playing. So I've journeyed through the harmonica field. What harmonica? Same with guitars. I know what guitars I like. I like the Fender Telecaster. I like these Matins look really nice. Though. I like Gibson, but um, the 335s and 334s. I like a semi hollow. And I'd like to get a, a, a National Steel uh, electric. What do they call it? Dan Electrics? Oh, beautiful. I like the yeah, 12 string. I play 12 string. I play bass. I like to have a bass. Because I like to compose music wherever I live. I can play all these instruments. Did you do? I was trying to learn. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a crazy world, isn't it? Everything we keep on learning. I've been dating these life coaching from the Transformational Life Coaching Institute. And he's a PhD in psychology. He's a great guy. He's a Puerto Rican. He's a nice guy. And I love his talks. I'm dating uh, this one I'm finishing. I've finished leadership course. That'll be good enough to. I, I would like to learn equine Earl, but oh God, I can't get through the government to get their insurance. I'm, if I get any money, I might take Equine Earl down in Arizona or somewhere from Linda Colano. I can travel. Living like this is not happy. And they say you need it because you need a hospital. Why? Why are you attaching those dumps to this? I'm not sick. I get sick when I don't have services. I can get on a train, I, the meals are there, and I'm not alone. I had a good ride back from uh, Edmonton, and there was a couple, a family, a daughter and a mother on there, and we, we had, from Europe, we talked, and we had a conversation. Take the tr plane, they got Wi-Fi on, she sat on that plane plane to Vancouver, from Toronto to Victoria, never talked and just sat on Excel. It's nice to put your computer down, honey. <laughs> you know, that's my friend up there in Brisbane. Put the computer down. I see too many people sitting on these computers, and that's what I mean. You can only chunk so much energy, money. And one of my things that will be getting people to detox on this social media garbage. A young man came in today, and he said, "Your name Brandon. I'm so depressed. What's the world? You're on social media. And, you know, it, it's not going to help you. I think it's made the world look bad. He's the young man that's starting to wake up. I think depression is a sign of change. You're shifting gears. It's an emotional charge. Because this young lady said, my boyfriend's got depression. What's it mean to you? It means he's waking up. <laughs> like, everybody lives a life in a bubble. And justifies that not doing, helping each other is all right. It's a me world. Well, that's going to end. That's going to end. I, I don't care what you say. I, I read the justification for everything. And I have a problem with that. I, I like to help people. And I know if we start changing our vibration and start changing what we do in life to honest entrepreneurial businesses that help people, We'll raise the vibration, we'll help people and make this world better. You think you're not powerful.
You know, that's what the Dalai Lama's quote was. Being a mosquito in the room. That is a beautiful quote by His Holiness the Dalai Lama of Tibet. You're powerful. You're powerful to change the world with kindness and with love and bringing in inner peace. And that's what I hope I bring in. Right? Maybe I don't. Well, tell me. If I don't make it peaceful, then I'd like to know because I'll work on it harder. Because I want to bring in the inner peace for everybody to be happy. You know, I was getting, I was doing these videos and I was getting, these guys are in Central America, Alabama fighting forces. They were shot at and I said, I don't, this is my sergeant says, Marine, sir, I don't know. You make us laugh, we're having a laugh. Your videos, we really enjoy. I play music and it makes people happy. And, um, Am I doing the wrong thing? I'm discovering these things because I said to the Lord God, I said, I'm the God I believe in that is all our God. Muhammad, Buddha, right. I said, I want to make the world happy. He pointed me to the piano, the guitar. I always had these skills. He pointed me to helping people, bringing comfort and peace. When I write to people that have lost pets, I bring in so much grief recovery. Is that me? No, it's the manifestation of God coming in. I want to be a humble servant of God. So I read the Book of Miracles. It's beautiful. It's a psychology of spirituality. And you, you get on here and you, you see them making fun of a, a girl sitting on a rock meditating. And you got all these things. They're just attacking it. Because they're in the pain. They don't know the bliss he's discovering from meditation and yoga and things like that. They think this is very, very. But what can you do about this? People love swallowing pain. And when people are happy, they don't like that. You know, and, you know, uh, what was Tommy Roberts says? Fly with the Eagles. Look at the people that got money and success. And don't envy them and don't hate them. Remember that pursuit of happiness? What did you learn from that? He said, boy, that's a beautiful car, sir. Thank you. It's a Maserati. You can have this. How can I? I don't have a university. It's, you don't need one. Just be a stock tree. So he just kept on that. Will Smith kept on that. And he had a little boy on the street. He was living in New York. And he just kept, kept on chugling. And he got there and he had he impressed people on that. The bum gets a shave, gets cleaned up, and gets a suit on. Becomes a, a prince. The Cinderella effect uh, when women really step into their own. And quit saying I'm such a poor girl. You know the problem with the Philippines? I talked to a lot of Filipinos to come to Canada. We look around and there's just so much wealth, but we're so poor. So I got a young woman in the Philippines that I help. And she's got a daughter. She doesn't want a husband now. She just wants to get ahead. I'll help her into Canada, Australia. I'm not marrying her, but she's got a daughter and they're getting married. They're a couple. I said, she come in and I didn't know why I said it. I was getting this image. There's a bunch of women putting you down when you were young, Russian. She said, yeah. I was somebody else, but no, it was her. I want you to do something, Jenna. Write it down on paper. That's the past. Write it down. It's that fire. It's gone. 
because you're a good person, you love your children. And she's going to do that. You know, all these attacks on single moms, uh, that's pretty dark. Um, single moms are women that you've got being abandoned because men can't deal with this. H, as they age, they look at young women. And their wife at 30 isn't as young as those chicky boos at 20. I talk to a man that's 40, 38, and he says, that's how I feel, Craig. I hate to admit it, I feel that. My wife's beautiful, but I do that. It's a part of the psychology going on. With these, how many men are dying of strokes now? At 40. My friend here lives next door. He's the same age as me. He went to school with me. We're friends. But he's just gone to a funeral to bury his two sons in their 40s. You know, when Henry David, Henry Ford came out with the production line, he did gap something right. 40 hour work. Everybody's working too many jobs to live. The hyperinflation. Dot com bubble went crazy. It, it sold too many products and, and we, we just became addicted. I can get furniture here for $225. No furniture back. You know what it is? All new furniture. See, people buy this stuff, they're, they're making money. In high paying jobs. But they don't like this stuff because they never wrote it down and gave it time to see if that was what they wanted. They just bought it on the impulse. So all that furniture is in a, a, a furniture net. You buy it, see? Isn't that crazy? I'm thinking about Dumpster Diver. He's a, a professor studying this consumption theory. These people are nearly rich. And they don't know how to save money. So what's wrong with our society? It's good to have money. Buy good products. And um, it's just put on a list of us. Take it out. Explore it. See how it feels. We don't feel anything anymore. We just the dot-com bubble just popped up. and You go on Instagram. For example, you go on Instagram, all sorts of Apple apps. Click on it, you got it. You need to pay for it. That's the way it's working. It's not economically fiscal. And it's driving up the market prices. It's part of the problem. There's not one answer to these things. But we can piece them down in the paper and figure this out. And I, I listen to people. I go out in coffee shops by myself. And hear them on the phone. This phone, this computer, this website's a mess. I'll tell you what's wrong with websites. People come in and they look at what you got to sell. You got to hook them on a, a something there. They're not going to spend a lot of time reading. And that's the that's the problem with websites. And the color and everything. There's a lot to learn on picking a website development up. I've had companies from India, but I can't. You know, there's a lot of website developers in Canada. I was sitting out in Duncan and I was in the bar there in a restaurant. He says, You're your entrepreneur? Yeah. I'll build you a website. Bang. See, I meet them when I'm drinking. You know, there's a young man on here, and he was talking right. Is You know, the Philippines is doing the social media gig. Is it, their lifestyle is cheaper. They need money. So, you know, you can hire them to do your social media, but it's on these apps. But a lot of your... your your old school, getting out and traveling and dropping off cards, 
business is the key. I'm reading a lot of no social media. Business marketing. God, I can't remember. I came from 1970s. I was in college studying marketing in the 1970s before uh, Zuckerberg came up. The Apple, the uh, social media market. It was working. And I learned a lot about it. People were making money back then. And um, I, I I'm not going to, you know, you, you can come on here and say all this self-help stuff is no good. Well, I think uh, the foundations of, uh, comic, um, of uh, books like uh, Read Them, Napoleon Hill, their foundations. Everything you're talking about, fracking and non-fracking, saving that energy, the sexual energy for business. Is Napoleon Hill? You know you, you, that is the foundation of everything. Napoleon Hill, nineteen forties, and he says, "Why does a man work for a man?" Oh man, it's crazy. So um, he he gave me a book that came on a PDF, uh, came on a PowerPoint. I got it. Uh, Shane sent it to me. Write it down. Any ideas come up? What's but I'll tell you. I'm mean, looking at this. He's got a business, and he says this is a dog. Cut it, sell it. You might get more money for it. it it's not working for him. I know what's wrong with this way it pains him. To, it's just not getting any business. The other one's working good. So I hear that's true. Write it down. Talk to business people. Talk to entrepreneurs. See what's failed. I've lived 68 years on the earth, and I've seen businesses come and go. Why? Price not right. Not marketing right. You know, overpricing a business that's gone in two weeks. I'm not paying that. And that they go. You got to come up and do some market research on your price when you come into a community. I'm looking now. This area's got some nice stores. Nothing selling. What? Housing inflation. And people are questioning what are their assets. They've spent millions here for condominiums and really nice homes. But they're, they're just doubling. The same thing next door is flipping. And they're saying, what's going to happen to my equity? They're business people that invested in uh, Collingwood. They were selling these houses like a corker here. Sounded good. It was a nice area. But it, it's not good, really. Uh, it's caused a lot of stress in the people that gamefully got money. So you gotta have compassion for rich people. And they're wondering where this market's going. Because they don't care. They're looking at the housing situation in Canada as a commodity market. I heard them say that. Are you crazy, man? It's a commodity market. It's human right. It's in the charter rights and freedoms, but that's thrown out there. I thought that cop she says I'm not attending. Why, sir? Because they've deleted the law, sir. They've deleted the law. <laughs> I talk about the police. They're deleting laws. So I got lawyers. Just damn lawyers. Are, the cops aren't trained, right? They don't know anything about law. And uh, I talk to a lot of people. <laughs> they hate Doug Ford. Lawyers in Ontario hate Doug Ford. Not these ones. These are the ones that are on the tape. Drama lawyers know. They're bigger firms. So it's Ottawa lawyers. So I'm working on, uh, all I have to do is contest the will. I got all the forms. All the documents. I got a good reason, a good way to contest this. I'll, I'll get them to do it. Now just let it go. 
a build. I found some firms that do contest wills, but I need a thousand bucks. Not too bad. The down payment. But they, they're giving me a discount because I'm paying them for legal shit. How did I find that? LinkedIn. You just get legal shit. It's better. Because you need insurance. And then these business insurance do have lawyers. Pro bono more. But trying to get legal help on real estate in Ontario, you find they're on the tape. These are tax shelters. The pro bono was just a tax shelter. They hung up on me. Tax shelters. So I've been reporting things to nonpartisan watchdogs like the Ombudsman and the Auditor General. The Auditor General. So is it politics? That's correct. It's snakes. You know, the whole market's full of gangsters and mobsters. And <laughs> How long has this been going on? The Winds and Raceway, 1975. I was there. I was working as a groom. And I worked up a train. Now, I used to go out to a pinball arcade in Windsor. Because I like playing pinball. I was a pinball kid. I just was changed to get me out of the barn. I was living in a tack room all by myself. It wasn't too lonely. There's horses down the hall. Noisy, but that was all right. So I go down to the pinball arcade. I was going in every day. But I, said, I noticed these men in suits going in there. Suitcases in the back room. It's the mob flooding from Detroit to Ontario. So I look at the history here. Right? 2010, closing went by the uh, Windsor Raceway, one of the finest standard bread racing tracks in Canada. <laughs> they shut right down, bang. And then it started rotting. In 2015, somebody burned it. To get the money out of it. What a nice track that was. So they, they, they got into all the tracks started closing down. Yeah, they, they were um, closing down and the uh, Ontario Lottery and Gaming Association coming up with lottery tickets and stuff. Sounds good, yeah. Do who wins those? Huh? How many people win those? But not, a, not that like a racetrack. It was employing people. Uh, it's a you can you can beat a punter, you know that's the, what they say in Australia. Beat the punter and you'll get the win the race. People win good money if they learn to manage money. Like you have to have a fund aside for betting and stop. <laughs> I saw a guy betting here and he drove off the dock. He lost the house, he lost everything. He's playing poker, high stake. They played for about two weeks. Now, he took the Lincoln Continental Town car. My wife was mad. She said, He left me that dump. Why didn't he drown himself? I was serious. <laughs> you know, but why didn't he leave me the Lincoln Town car? He, he killed himself. Huh? <laughs> Just playing poker. Poker, poker. That's crazy. I used to go in there and I used to say, got whiskey? Yeah. I used to do them whiskey and cigarettes. And they just stay for hours and hours and play poker. It was high stake. <laughs> you know, the, your auntie? Yeah, I'll trade her. Full? No, no. That was high stake. It, it was a form of gambling, and it was stupid, because you wouldn't stop. And uh, this is like every damn thing. I drink coffee, and I stop. But this is a long talk here. But what's happening in Canada? Is it the government? Is it Trudeau? Well, he put the pipeline for to appease the little people of Alberta. But then Joe Biden shut down the Keystone. 
about the time Jason Kenny said, let's have a riot and send these boys off, truckers off to Ottawa and have a street riot. Yeah, RCMP pulls them over. Look at the guns, man. <laughs> uh, it was a, just a disaster. And then, this is not I noticed. They, they said, well, we'll stop the banks will close their accounts if you're feeding them. Well, I'm not feeding them, but the banks are going to close my account. Why? Because they're at the tipping point of $1.1 trillion in debt. Like, it's probably inflated more, because we just printed money when the Cobra came out. And everybody isn't pulling together. They're denying the Cobra virus. And they're saying, my husband lost his job. You have to walk home. It's only a dollar twenty-five. I could give you the money back. No. So that's the way we get. You know, when we're going for a hard times, we help each other. But no, no. Ontario's terrible for that. Nobody helps anybody. Nobody gives you the benefit of that. Alberta, I found that. They help you. And give you the benefit of doubt. Now, this guy's giving me a benefit of doubt. I got to take the phone back. I'll get him to get that in there. It's not working. It's burning out all the time. And I got 450 to pay on or I'll pay her off. I want to get a, a phone that works. Do I get a smartphone? I'll get the uh, iWatch working for traveling. And I'll get a, one of those phones that hook up to the Wi-Fi. I'm behind the Wi-Fi rent pay for three months. I can't pay anything. I can't see my in, in anything. Because that phone kept on going. And I said to them, I want a new phone. You didn't put a phone plan on. You shouldn't have to. It should have covered the whole length of it. There's options. They pay Virgin off and uh, get a phone plan. And pay them off as I'm making money. I'm not doing well on this. I can get an iPhone 15. Well, I don't know if they're any good. But I need a phone. And I'd like to get an iPad, but I'll build money and buy it. This is the start. It's the seed of the laptop. I'm buying crystals. I'm putting them in boxes. And they'll travel with me. I'm just going to carry a few healing crystals. I've been building grids. I got a Reiki box. This is that beautiful, Greg. Damn right it is. It's a beautiful energy box. And I've been saying money Reiki. To bring the abundance in. Oh, that sounds crazy, doesn't it? My energy is money. Energy is money. It's a, a flow of money. So, I, I, I wondered how to decorate this box. Hmm. Let me tell you something. This is it. It's beautiful. Look at this. It, it's uh, stained redwood. And it's got the, the uh, tree of knowledge. Hmm, let me see. And um, I got crystals in there. And that's one I love. It's from Thunder Bay, Ontario. It's called a shaman's crystal. It is or arrow like 23. Powerful crystal. Sort of like an amethyst. I got ruby. Um, I got a lot of things that are cut in energy. And I, I write in here and I put uh, intentions. Clear. Energy and spend a couple of minutes recharging. So that's how I'm doing it. And I'm writing things I gotta cut ties with and uh, snip them. Because <laughs> that's what my friend's dead. He was studying holy fire. He got the holy fire master. He's dead. I think he 
not cutting. He didn't cut the cords with all this stuff. So I'm studying all the uh, cutting cords. And I look at doctors. They don't cut cords. They, they go down with their patients. They look like hell. They look very old and they're younger than me. You know, what is that? It, it's just not getting attached to the suffering of others.